What's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. I'm going to be going a little over just kind of showcasing the EVE Online XL add-on here and kind of different things you can do with it and uh, possibly ways that I might uh, end up using it. But uh, really a lot of it is about you know doing solar system searches and given IDs, you can look at the search regions, um, you can look at industry index for a certain uh, ID. You can do uh, blueprint explosions and stuff. So it's a good way to actually track um, a lot of industry stuff and things like that. But I'm going to kind of work through and kind of show you some of uh, the category stuff. So first off, we can go here and click under category and try it out. If we click on here, up here we can see it says uh, eveonline.category6. But we're going to change this to 25. 25 is asteroid. And so give you an idea how this kind of works. You don't necessarily need to know the codes for everything, but you might have to look up certain uh, categories to kind of start the nested process. But like for this, if you click asteroid and you click in here, then you can kind of open this up and you can see the different nested values here. So you have Arknor, Bistot, uh, Crokite, and then all the types that go into it as well. Now what you can do with this is you can click on this button over here to, the, uh, to just extract groups onto the grid. And so that'll actually bring out all this stuff. So then you can actually drill down and look at Arknor. You can even drill down and get the actual um, drill down for that as well. And then also if you go into Arknor here as well, or you can just go over here. And what you can do is we can do like equals and we can target this field here and uh, put and do dot and then you have things like adjusted price, average price, base price, uh, capacity, data type, description, graphic. So if we go like average price, then it'll give us the average price for that. And then you can just do like, you know, normal uh, spreadsheet stuff where you can kind of drag down and get a good idea of how you can use this for tracking. It would take a long time to build a, um, well, not a long time, but it'd be kind of tedious to build a uh, complete list here for like asteroid ore for instance if you wanted to uh kind of track it um but this gives you an idea of kind of how to navigate this add-on so let's back up and also what you can do here is to remove all this you can just go up to the top and if you actually look at how that is formatted when this pops out it's basically um the cell type dot types so you can um, kind of start to learn how to do this kind of manually without actually going into the little field um thing so like for bis dot, you know, you can do uh, it'd be like C5 dot groups because C5 is essentially the category. So really the uh, the formula kind of looks like uh, like it's like category dot group dot type type. Um, and that's kind of how it drills down and everything. But I thought it was pretty cool. Like, let's go look at another one. Like, let's go ice. You know, bring ice out of here. It'll like spit out all the ice stuff. And everything but uh that's kind of how the categories and stuff work so now let's look at uh something else let's go look at the blueprint explosion so the way this works is i think by default it has a uh, dominic's blueprint i believe in here but essentially what you could do is if you click on here you can see this would be all the components and then this would be all the excess, excess materials and then all the materials. And just like with the categories and stuff like that, we could actually like just bring out all of the, uh, the uh, components here as well. And then you can actually drill down and look at the actual uh, quantity and all, that, and all the information that goes into all that. So if you actually want to look up a blueprint, what you would need to do is the fastest way to really do it is if you go here and click this, you could go to like appraisal or something and you could uh, search for it and run appraisal on it and then click the item itself and then that would be your ID. And so that is our ID. So we'll grab that. And then what we can do is here is we can go up under here, replace this 999 with the 2739 and it would give us this. Then we'd actually be able to go in here and uh, look at all that information as well or we can actually go up here and plug this in to there and we would see three materials one product it would show us all of the product things that go into it and then we could drill down a little bit more so it's pretty useful i'm still trying to figure out like <clears throat> what i could potentially use 
um, this for. I think a good a good thing to probably you know work on is maybe getting a, a spreadsheet running for all uh, asteroid type stuff, both compressed and non-compressed. It's pretty nifty. If you go over here, there's a market order one that you can go in here and it will uh, go in here. And that would be like the ID type again on that second up here in the formula. So this first number in this up here, it would be the region. So that's Jita. And then the second number would essentially be the ID. So that would, if we put that other number in 2739, that would be our nanite repair paste and things like that. And that is uh, the market order. And there's also a uh, market order streaming, which will update every five minutes. So you could potentially add um, items by ID that you're kind of looking at and monitoring. And these will update as you go. <clears throat> then there's also the station formula where that will just give or you just it's basically a function that you're going to just feed an id for a station so by default it is set to uh g to 4 4 and everything inventory search there's character you, you there's also you can log into this as well and do a lot of non-public things as well like looking up uh active character you can look at wallet transactions um you can do look at character clones character fittings implants um your skills uh, and everything like that LP and all that I'm not sure if I'll end up using that too much but uh, I'm just still kind of playing around with this a little bit but I figured I would make this video and kind of uh, show it off and potentially pique some people's interest on what you could do with this but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one peace out